Okay, so I thought what I would try to do today is a self-portrait outside in the sun. I've got this big old mirror that's been outside for a while. I wiped it down so I can see myself clearly. And um, uh, I like to do self-portraits every once in a while. They have varying degrees of success. So we'll see what happens today. I think I'll just try to do a simple, quick one. Um, I don't like to make these videos too long, so maybe I'll try to do something in about maybe 10 minutes, you know, kind of quick thing. If I can, if I can concentrate enough and get it done. So let's get started. Okay. Here's what I'm just, let's start with a big general shape my head. I like to scribble. Well, doing self-portraits is interesting. You can kind of um, see yourself get older. And you can see the Terrible things that happen to you as you get older, I guess. And also, I've gained weight in the past year, which is not cool, but it has happened. I'm just going to throw some shadows in here. Those dark shadows outside from the overheads, the sun directly overhead. It's around midday, I guess, so... I don't know why I'm guessing. I could look at the clock, but... It's midday. Hmm. Uh, proportions are incredibly difficult with the portrait. Littlest bit off can really confuse me or you know make it not look like yourself and that's really hard and I don't consider myself a portrait artist um, I do portraits I try to do portraits for my own personal challenges I'm rarely satisfied with them though okay I'm not talking my way through this I'm just letting the pencil dance around basically Okay, I'm going to close my mouth and shut up for a minute while I try to get the, no the mouth on here. The nose might already be too big, actually. What I'm trying to do is a... not carefully measure, just eyeballing the whole thing. Normally I'll do a lot of this sort of measure, measure proportions, and what I'm trying to do here is get a bunch of information on the page first, and then maybe I will go around and make some slight corrections after I've gotten a lot of data on the paper. I've got a few complexes, of course. I. Um, I think most people do, I guess. Um, I don't like my nose. Hell, I got a lot of complexes. Well, I don't like my nose in my drawings because I have a sort of elf-style nose, or, you know, elf is a nice way of saying a pig nose, I think. And the other one is uh, chin. I lack a chin, definitely lack a chin. Kind of just rolls right down into my neck. And even when I'm not overweight... This is just a general part of how I look. Not much of a chin. I get that from my father, I think. <laughs> hey, Dad. Um, he grows a beard. And he grows a beard very well. He grows a beard far better than I ever could. Uh, and he mostly mostly has a beard all the time. Like He'll shave it every, every few years. He'll go without it. And not for long. He just immediately lets it grow back. Um, and when he does not have a beard, we we can all see that, oh, okay, it's probably, you know, because of the this sort of shape, you know, 
it's a great way of hiding hiding things. It's a good looking guy, don't get me wrong, but I would if I could grow a big old beard to hide my, my chin, I definitely would. Now I'm seeing a very um <laughs> grumpy looking angry face here. It's because I'm squinting my eyes a bit in the sun. Uh, so this image is going to come out with a fairly dark impression to it, I think, because of that. That's okay. A bit of shadow under my nose. Now, because I'm working with the real sunlight, there's some really strong shadows out here, which would change if I drew for very long. If I st stayed out in this spot for too long, these shadows would move like crazy. Little known fact that the Earth is round, like a, like a ball, similar to those globes that you have in school classrooms. Not flat. And because of that whole round Earth spinning, rotating, all that kind of stuff, shadows move. And I know what you're saying, all you science guys out there, like, no, 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 Mike, the big light bulb that the man put up in the sky is programmed to move around to keep us fooled. But, uh, I don't know. I'll stick with my crazy science teachers any day. Even though they're all part of the conspiracy, right? Do I need to hashtag sarcasm here? Do I have to hashtag sarcasm for y'all? The round, the word, the world is not flat. Okay, just clarify. Some crazy hair going on. I need a haircut. Definitely need a haircut. Could use a shave too, but uh, I don't know. We'll get around to that eventually. Not a, obviously not at work this week, so no reason to shave if you're not going to work, right? Okay, so we got a bunch of face on here. Shadow here. A little bit hard to tell if this is shadow or, or uh, facial hair. We're on time wise, so I don't want to go too long. Seven minutes, not too bad. Making our way. Get an ear in here. I am worried about the, the proportions of. Of the, like from the nose to the ear, you know, am I am I close? Turn it for a second there. Right now we're like this. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take a little measurement now. Now that I'm a little bit further in, one, two, so one, two. It's close. Like I said, I don't want to go crazy with perfection. Helicopters going overhead. It's a U.S. military base, Yongsan, Yongsan Garrison, nearby. We do get helicopters from time to time. I guess every day. Once in a while we'll get some big jet kind of thing flying over doing doing some kind of training or whatever. It's quite exciting. <laughs> Living in South Korea, you know, everyone was always worried about uh, what are you gonna do? Aren't you worried about North Korea and stuff? And all these years I've never really worried about South North Korea. Um, because I basically live like the South Koreans do, and if they're not worried, I'm not worried. Shoulder hair, just a bit. Okay. Get this hair on here. I do like the hair, like on top. I like it long, but the sides are bugging me. Yes, I'm over forty, and I still have a full head of hair. Nothing gray. <laughs> 
fucking you, all you folks I went to high school with. <laughs> mm. It's the kimchi. It's the kimchi. Kimchi is keeping me uh, young, I guess. Something about the Korean food. It's definitely not the air quality here because Seoul has very poor air quality. Mm. A lot of pollutant pollution. There's stuff called yellow dust blowing in, blowing in from the uh, the desert in China, and then there's the factories as well, sort of polluting the air that we breathe. And there's all these national notices about you know try not to go outside today or wear a mask if you go outside. And so in Seoul, people have been wearing masks for many many years, long before Corona coronavirus. Now, glasses I throw on at the end. And I try to do them, you know, quickly. If I keep them loose, I won't worry as much about um, maybe the angle right though. If I keep them loose, I won't worry as much about uh, the angle and the proportion of the glasses. We'll keep them really simple and sketchy. I feel like. Well, I guess some people might draw the glasses first and use them as a proportion tool, but I like to draw the face first and just throw the glasses on top. Um, that angle there. There you have it, a very quick self-portrait.